Hello YouTube, welcome back to Transport Fever and uh, I thought I'd treat you to one of these. You can see the town in the distance, I believe that is New Milton and this is the South Western Railway and here comes one of those trains. Uh, I figured out a way to in increase performance but I haven't tried it just yet. Uh, I think a lot of performance issues do come from the amount of smoke that's coming out of all these uh, buildings, all the particle effects. So, there is a mod. Um, is it F2XK or F2KX or something like that? Uh, he's released a mod that's going to um, allow me to reduce the reduce the amount of smoke particles, which is really really cool. Anyway, got a train going past, looking very very nice. Uh, that's one on the Southwestern Railway, so I thought I'd just treat you to that uh, because I like seeing trains just as much as the next person like that. In fact, let's take a peek at how much this train is actually carrying. 66 well done sir oh ma'am oh look there's another train going the opposite way now if i waited i would have seen two but anyway we've got we've got work to do we have got work to do let's get straight on with it you can see i've waited a little while um i wanted to play through a little bit just so that we can have some more cash to actually be able to afford the engines right signaling oh wow these people are already anticipating what's going to happen here fancy Signaling routes and trains today. Right, let's get straight on with that. Um, you know what? No, nobody's going to build on this side, so we can leave that for now. Let's create the first route for this area. And that's going to be just here to here, nice and short. And we shall make it uh, bright yellow. And we're going to go from here to here. And you're probably wondering, why am I doing routes before the signals and things like that? It's because I want to show you guys something. Uh, for those of you who are new to Transport Fever, haven't played Train Fever before, stuff like that, I want to show you guys this. So let's call this the um, South Eastern Food. Yep, this is South Eastern Food. There we go. So we've got Southeastern food. Funnily enough, my convention's gone out the window right now, but they will it will come back eventually. So there we go, there's Southeastern food, job done. Let's create another line, and that's going to go from here all the way down to here. And that is going to be um Right, this is where things are going to actually get some so it's gonna be T F R. Um TFR East Grinstead Food. There we go. Okay, so there we go. There's our first warnings that have come up for road vehicles needing replacement. But you guys can just shh. Can I disable that? There is a way to disable that, I do know, but I can't really think of what it is right now. Okay, so there we go. We have now we've got our two two lines there. We're going to leave it as those two lines just for a moment. Now watch this. So we've got East Grinstead Food that comes in on this platform. It follows this line all the way across and as you can see the computer has worked out very very nicely which line it's supposed to be on. Awesome! Awesome by the computer. Wonderful! It's done everything that we need it to do. It's all good. However, this only really works if we have single trains running down here. So if we have one train on this line and one train on this line, that's going to work quite well. You know, no one's no one's going to get in anyone's way and everything's going to be all fine. But we're not going to have a single train running down here. Yes, maybe it's going to be a single train between here and here, but from Durham to here, it's definitely not going to be a single train. Odds are we're going to be running two very, very full trains, right? Uh, because especially if we're going to be then taking this further down, as a matter of fact, we may even be running a train that goes from here all the way down to here, uh, down this line all in one go. So there's that as well. So there's going to be a lot going on. So we need to really work that out and keep it, keep it going. And that's what signals are for. And that's why we're going to put signals in. So let's start by putting um, a signal here so where we're going to want a signal right here where this diamond crossing is and the reason we're going to put a signal at this diamond crossing is because this is where platforms are going to change now I'm using this path signal because 
because of the way I actually leave the trains running. Some people leave the trains running. Um, which way? Uh, in this case, let's say going that way. Uh, that's actually the southbound. But going that way would be on this side and going this way would be on this side. I do it the opposite way because I'm from Britain and we tend to do things in opposite ways. It's kind of cool. We like being awkward like that. We're very, very awkward. So I'm going to place a signal right here. The moment I do that, the algorithm changes and goes, hang on, there's a signal on that side. So let's switch it over to this platform. All right, fine. Now it's going to switch things over in the opposite way. Okay, fine. Fine, that's that's nothing too bad. Right? Let's go ahead and now add a track here, a diamond crossing over here. And you're probably wondering why on earth I'm putting diamond crossings in as well. Everything should be explained. Let's make a nice high-speed diamond crossing here. Immediately, it's changed the track over again because now it's like, what the heck are you doing? Uh, where's the diamond crossing? Problem here is I can't see the diamond crossing anymore. It is there. Why is the construction not possible? Why? You tell me why. You... You tell me why is that construction not possible? What's, what's so wrong about this? Okay. We will fix this. We will get this working. Too much curvature. Alright, so if I give you a nice a large one like that, are you going to sort it out for me? Yes you are, thank you very much. And now look what it's done. So now we've got a really strange crossover. Right? Now that's no good because if a train's coming down this road or this rail and a train's coming down this rail at the same time, both of them are just going to have to wait for one train to go past the other to get into the station when both of them could actually fit on the platform. So that's no good. Let's fix that by putting some more signals. So here we go, we're going to put a signal right here. And look what it's done to this rail here. Can you see that? It's now backing up down that route. So if I was to close this one, we've now got two-way travel. Right through the station, all the way across that's pretty cool right that's that's good that's exactly what we want okay that's exactly what we want but we have a problem and that is if I bring this route up again this one here is on this rail only so if the train stops here and it starts coming back down this route. It's going to go down this rail, down this rail, down this rail. And there's another train coming up this rail. So they're both using the same railway line going in two different directions. That's not good. So we need to fix that. And the way we fix that is by putting a junction here. Now this time, I don't need a diamond junction. All I need is one that goes like so. Okay. Brilliant. If I close that, you can see that it's still, still running down this one line. So how am I going to change that? Well, by putting a signal here, this allows a train to hold if there's someone in that platform. And the moment I do that, it works out that it wants you to run on two lines. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we've got the two trains running on two separate lines. What I could do to be really, really annoying is I could put a diamond crossing here and make sure that the food train always gets to run through this station down this line because this platform is never going to be used. So maybe I should do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have a little bit of a single, a single platform, uh, a single line uh, deal here, which is then going to go back up to two lines. How am I going to do that? I need to put a junction that goes off like so. Now these things are going to be going at fairly high speed, so this needs to be a fairly uh, high speed junction. There we go. That looks good. That looks very good. We don't need this anymore. That one's fine. We do need this one. Nope, that's Southeastern Railway. We do need this one. Okay. Now you can see 
it's still running through the two stations. But, but, if I go ahead and stick a diamond crossing right here. Now look what it's doing. Goes in there, runs out here, and then runs a single line all the way down. Again, we don't want the single line. So, we're going to place a signal right here, which allows the trains coming on the upline, that's what I'm calling this one, this is the upline, to hold, which should switch the algorithm over to tell it to use the other line. Ta-da! So now we're going to have a hold just here. That's all we're going to ever have a hold on. If two trains, if a train happens to come through here, and happens to come through here at the exact same time, then we're going to have a small hold here. But, but, for the rest of it, it's on two platforms. And even here, the other one is on the second platform. So we're never going to really have much trouble. This is awesome. This is exactly what we want. Okay, at the same time, we're making plenty of money. That's why I'm talking through this, because I need to make the money to be able to buy this. Right, we're down all the way up to here. Now, right here, we're going to be switching to a single platform. That's fine. Again, that's absolutely fine. And what I could do is any train that needs to pass through this is going to go on another platform. Okay. Say I want this to be on a separate platform, though, in, you know, instead of it going down onto platform number one, I want this to go onto platform number two for some obscure reason. How am I going to do that? Well, what I need to do is place a waypoint right here. Yep. Now, it hasn't done anything yet. But, if I click Durham South here, add station, and then add this waypoint, it switched my platform over for me. Ta-da! I'm kind of happier with that, because, and the reason I'm happy with that, is because trains coming through here are probably going to be going at quite a high speed. So if a train stopped in this platform here, it will be kind of okay for them coming back. Right? That being said, trains going this way are going to be carrying food. So, maybe I don't want them to stop on that platform. How do I stop that? Easy enough, just remove it right there. There you go, and we're back onto this platform. We'll leave it on that platform for now. We're going to have to work that out in the future. You can see that there's some buildings cropping up here. Everyone's excited about what's going to happen. So there we go, we've got that. Now, I also do this. Uh, let's say right here, I put signals like this right and I'm going to put uh, just here this one's quite wholly unnecessary but I'm going to put it in anyway I'm gonna put signals there and you're probably wondering why am I doing that well it's quite simple it's quite simple and let me explain it a train is coming through here this is a very busy very busy section of track we're running, let's say, six trains down this down this section of track between between Grinstead here, East Grinstead, and here. We're running six trains. Okay. Train number one is in this section here. Let's say there's train. Actually, no. Let's say train number one is right here. Okay. If we didn't have these signals here, train number two would have to wait here before it could proceed. So it would have to wait until train number one reached the station, passed this signal here, before it could proceed from this signal to this signal. By putting in the signals here, it allows train number two to close that gap up to train number one as train number one progresses, saving time and allowing more trains on the same section of track. Similarly, train number three comes along if this signal was not here, train number two would be stuck here. Train number three would be stuck here, right? Train number three stuck there. Train number four would be stuck here on the main line, blocking any other passenger train. With this though, train number one is here, train number two is here, train number three will be here, train number four will be here, and train number five will be in this station here. Which means that only train number six would have any problem should there be six trains all happening to travel in the exact same direction. 
okay, allows more trains to run the similar section or the same sections of track. Each section of track is called a block. So what I'm doing is I'm making smaller blocks. Smaller blocks, more trains, bit more stop start. Ideally, I would have liked yellow lights. Yellow lights would have been brilliant because that would have slowed the trains down, keep some traffic flowing, stuff like that, or amber lights. Would have kept the traffic flowing, but as it is, we only have the home and distant right now. Uh, sorry, the home and uh, the home signals for danger and clear, and we don't have any distant signals for danger and clear. Of course, LEDs uh, haven't been made here, or you know, the standard red, yellow, green. Even though we only have red and green in transport fever, which is one of the biggest annoyances for me. Anyway, I hope that's explained that. So now let's go ahead and. Uh, make one more route and this is important this is very very important this route and I don't know whether this is going to change as well so I'm also going to co color this yellow and I'm going to try this we're going to call this good shuttle so that's GSH right good shuttle and we're going to call it East Grinstead S okay so this is the southbound one and it's going to only cover one, two, three. That's all it's going to do. One, two, three. So one, two, three. There we go. That's all it's going to do. So it's going to go from here to here to here. Now I know these are passenger stations, but we can drop freight off there, which is really cool. I hope that's a proper feature. I hope that's not a bug, because if that's a bug, I would hate to see that one go. Because the size of these things are just, it's just way too large. You know, normally trucks and that would just stop on the side of the road in little, in you know, in little side alleys or stuff like that, or a small, a small uh, place to drop off goods, not huge depots like this. So you know, or stops like that. So there's one. Let's create another. Now this is something that was suggested to me. It was originally for passenger lines, but I'm gonna try it for the sh good shuttle. G S H East Grinstead north okay East Grinstead North is going to cover one um, two three four so that's north and south now technically I could have put that one up there and this this one here and that I'm just trying this out still a learning experience this is not something I've done before normally I do my complete circular routes and that's it right we have five million we definitely have 5 million. What are we going to get going? I think the first one to get going is going to be a train that's going to carry some livestock and some grain. What train should we use? We've got the Borsig, which does 28. We've got this that does 28. That's a much heftier train. Um, although, that being said, how much pulling power do we need? really for this short section that there to there I don't think we really need too much so I'm actually going to go with the Borsig in terms of trying to save money um, and that's going to be yellow okay let's make a yellow train purchase that wonderful 12 meters long uh, then we're going to go for wagons. We are going to use, uh, we could use these tiny ones, or we could use these big ones. Five tons for, see, they need to put the length in here as well. Uh, because that's 50. Um, I'm just looking at that, right? Okay, let's, let's work this out. This is 20 meters. Okay, get rid of that. This is... 22 meters okay so that's 8 and 10 meters on the train 8 and 10 meters this is probably the one that's more worth it okay there we go so that's the one we're picking we are going to go um, a livestock on this and we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 how much is that carry that's 35 6 okay then we're going to go for a gondola and that's going to carry some grain. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? I have experienced that grain tends to be a bit more. So seven, eight. There you go. That's pretty much a full-size train. 
So there's our first train off on its way. And I know it's at the end of the episode already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this off on southeastern food. Off you go. It's waiting for a free path. Yes, it's waiting for this one to go through until that one reaches that signal there. So this is what I was talking about, about holding trains. This one is now going to stop in this station. Nope, it's just going to stop right there. It's not even going to bother going into the station. It's going to stop there and wait for this train to get past this signal. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to purchase another train. This time, I am going to purchase one of these, but in bright green. And this is where we're going to end the episode. I'll do one of that. I've got the money, just about. And we're going to purchase a boxcar. And that is going to carry food. And you know what? I want the boxcars to be like that dark red color, deep red. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How how big is that? Eighty-two, eight. How big is the train? Fifty-six, nine, ten, seventy. Seventy food. All right, we're going to be definitely running more than one train on this line. We'll start with one train. Off you go. He is now going to wait, or she is going to wait for that one to get there. And to end the episode off, I am going to make some trucks in fact you know what I'll do that off camera because you've, you guys have seen me set trucks and that on the lines before so that's not going to matter I will do that off camera thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to our channel for more videos on transport fever leave a comment in the comments box below do check me out on Twitter leave messages you know tweet me I do respond to those Twitter's in the description box below check out patreon scheme that's also in the description box below and once again thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.